లేదు ఇప్పుడు ఆ తల్లి మహాతల్లి నాకు కలవాలని ఉంటుంది ఎప్పుడైనా నిజ నిజంగా ఎవరైనా you know every criminal in the world will give you an explanation as to why he is doing it and when you hear his story uh, you will agree with him right unless he is a madman you know so there is there is uh, an underlying issue with almost everybody in the world today but uh, some of them chose to be criminals and they are very confident in their head that that was the only way that they could have uh, done what they did right so i don't want to hide the fact that you know he was a hero and you know he helped a lot of people he was doing this because uh, you know he he wanted it done it could be because of his mother it could be just because you know he had he started getting the greed of gold but for me he's uh, he he is definitely a criminal because he's chosen his path he's not you know just eight years stabbing uh, somebody because you know he needed food yeah he knows what he was doing right and whether his mother told him to do that or somebody else told him to do that everybody has some way of uh, working up uh, you know working around uh, what they do in this world right for him he chose to be a criminal he is a criminal and <laughs> there is no two ways about it so building on the fact that you see him as a criminal uh rocky is this most fascinating character right on at first he is a proper gangster like in mumbai is a gangster in bengaluru is a gangster then they send him to kill a bigger gangster in uh a garuda in who's running the kgf mines and once he enters that place uh you kind of steady yourself for a typical transition of heart or a bit of something you just wait for that so he's seeing because he's seeing a lot of cruelty around him he's also seeing acts of great bravery and kindness like the man who sacrifices himself for uh like for the sake of you know like not revealing who uh yash is and all that he's seeing all that and he kills garuda and everybody accepts him as their savior as their messiah but there is at the end you still say that he did that to make to gain control of kgf and to get these men as his soldiers so that he can continue to mine for gold uh, himself so that's like this fascinating thing that even though he was probably getting a little influenced by the kindnesses and the acts of bravery and all that kind of stuff in him his real goal never wavered in the sense that that in chapter 2 uh the chacha character says you're doing the same thing as garuda does and the ichuri rao character says like his mother was there to start his journey but now there's nobody to stop him do you think that this man is somebody who misinterpreted his mother's wish and kind of set out on that one path like a almost like a madman let's say your uh, story point of view i think it was it is very uh, consistent with the character it's just that his situation was very different at that point of time he was in kgf in kgf he never took his eye off the ball right that's what he that it's very time. consistent that's what i'm saying yeah. yeah i think the him becoming a messiah was a by product of what he was doing right. there i think he would have sacrificed everybody for his goal right that's something that i strongly believe and i want i wanted to make that a point yesh was very clear that you know that is how it should come across but i think it all became a by product right you know he he was improvising at that point of time if i am uh, going to be a rowdy still i'd get shot on day 1 in kgf so he was trying to understand this world he took he took 25 years 20 years to understand what mumbai was and he was starting to gain control of it right he has to give a little time over here in kgf right so i think the ca- character was very consistent uh, it was always meant to be something where you know he was trying to understand this world the difficulties over here and then all this happened all the melodrama in kgf happened which was which is very natural you yeah. know when you have bondage you even the worst the uh, human being will have that heart you know to want to help it probably it was a design also that uh, you know we have a big star and we have to put in uh, some of these things but the the from pure story point of view you know we wanted the ending to work right as to why he was there and what he understood from this place 
and and you know he was planning all along that you know if i have to gain control of this place i need this i need to do this and i, I need to do this i think people also saw the messiah side of it far bigger than him being a villain but that is what cinema does to you you know right uh, you you can make a, a hero out of pablo escobar also when you watch his story he killed a lot of people but he looks like a hero you know you you feel for him when he dies in the end and this is this is the earlier point that i told you you know that uh, criminals uh when they tell you their story you don't think that they're wrong right so that's probably the general idea behind it yeah because you know when i was watching kgf1 i thought this was going to be a typical you know like like okay hard hearted man and then now he's softened by all these this cries of pain and this and that and all that and then you have that that twist in the end that the that this is all done in order to kill garuda and gain control of kgf so it's almost like this classic misdirection uh, had happened uh, to kind of uh, uh, the, the, i mean i don't doubt that maybe he felt a twinge for of compassion for you know like like whatever happened or something like that but his bigger goal never wavered and that was i think fairly new for a big hero movie kind of thing right mm. because it's like you either have them pay, play outright evil uh, which where they rarely do but here this guy was like he's he's like from the beginning of part 1 till the end of chapter 2 he's like i've got my goal set boss this is i'm not going to change this is what i am so he's like 